Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 2a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 42 and this is question 7. So it reads, a cyclist accelerates uniformly from 3 meters to 11 meters per second during a 6 second period. Find the distance covered. So, once again, we'll start by drawing our speed versus time graph. Time is measured in seconds, speed is measured in meters per second, like that. We're told that he decelerates uniformly from 3 meters to 11 meters. Must be the other around, surely. A cyclist accelerates, oh, he accelerates uniformly from 3 meters to 11 meters. So, at time t is equal to 0. His, or his speed is equal to 3, and at time t is equal to t, his speed is equal to uh, 11, like that. So let's just draw that. So where is the t is equal to 0? That's at the axis here. So we'll say, we'll say, we'll, let me think now, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 1, 2, 3. There is time t is equal to 0, and speed is equal to 3. And during a 6 second period, so at t is equal to 6, He's at 11 meters per second, like that. And because it's uniform acceleration, you can join the two points with a straight line, like that. So let's just, as normal, kind of finish out this, uh, finish off the um, the diagram like that, because we know we are, we're also able to compute the uh, the speed or the distance by the area underneath the curve. So the question is, find the uh, the distance covered. So let's let's try this. Okay, so we know that we're at, we'll say, 11 here, 3 here, and the distance of 6. So there are two ways of doing this. We could get the distances and we could use the US formula. So I'm just going to do both. We'll start with this one. So we have the area of a triangle. So the triangle is half the base, which is 6, multiplied by the perpendicular height, which is um, 8. Okay, 6 eighths are 48, divide that by 2, and you have 24. Okay, so the area here is 24. And the area then of the... Uh, the area of the rectangle is equal to the base by the height, 6 times 3, is equal to 6 threes are 18. Like that. So the total area is equal to the triangle plus the rectangle is equal to 32, sorry, 42. 42 meters. So let's check that at the back of the book. And that is correct. Now, just to confirm that we can do this by two different ways, we'll do the UVAS formula now. So we'll say U V A S T. Initial velocity is three. Final velocity is uh, eleven. The acceleration is unknown. The distance is unknown, and the time is six. So we're trying to get this distance s equal u plus v over two times t. Will that work? The answer is it will, because we know all of the variables except for s, which we're trying to find. So s is equal to 11 plus 3 over 2 times 6. So that's equal to, um, what's that, 14 times 3 is equal to uh, 42 meters. So uh, that's that's pretty simple again. Like I said, it, that's pretty simple. So. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I hope that was worth worthwhile watching. Pass it on to your friends. Thanks for watching.